Chango and his family feel very exposed because these people have tried to kill us before. They have now tried to get us out of office. So I asked President William Ruto, my brother, I helped you to be president. Leave me alone. Leave my children alone. Do whatever you want, but let me live. Let me look after my children. You can do whatever you want with the country, but allow me to live. Because I was there for you when you needed somebody to be there for you. When you were in trouble and you needed a man who could stand with you, I stood with you, with my family. You have paid us in kind by being so cruel and vicious against us. We are simple people. We are a very small family. Let us be. Do whatever you want, but please, Mr. President, I beg you, don't kill us. Don't kill my children. You have caused me enough pain for the last one year. Please, leave me alone. Let me be. God will take care of me. I don't have to have security. I don't have to have drivers. I don't have to have cars. Please, allow me to have my peace, if nothing else. And remember, I was there for you when you needed a man to be there for you. Let's change fast, Mambo. Mambo Badrika Araka Sana, Filea Tutaraji. From the video, now Rigi is crying. He's literally crying because, Mambo, amenyanganywa wafanyikazi wote, amenyanganywa security, amenyanganywa magari, and now he's crying for his life. So, yeah, amenyanganywa kila kitu. And now I may resort to, I may say kwa a video like, you know, Mr. President, please, now do not kill my children. Do not kill me. Please let me live. Okay? Actually, in politics, as I would say, it's about interests. Now, if the president, amepata Kenya, alikuwa nataka, through the support of Rig G, who was his running mate, and now impeached. You can realize that it's about the interests. Now, kunanga permanent friends na permanent enemies in politics. So, right away, Rig G is going through shit, man. He's going through what he has never gone through. What he has never gone through. But this time around, eh? Alisema ye mwenye kata truto is so vicious. Manze is so brutal. Eh? And you can see from the actions. Ile speed riani mambo ya rigichi na pele kwa mbio kwa nzia last week. Kise net impeachment, gas statement, kindiki ya mekua, ya mechaguliwa pale, ya mepele kwa pale ya mente ya mefotiwa na maempisi teke teke, ndiye ule ya naapishwa. Kitu imesaidia rikichi kidogo ni iyo court, ilihold kidogo. Pati wiki file tumeanza, I know they are going back to this. Yeah, wanaenda kushugulike iyo mambo, iyo kotini, iyo process yendelea raka raka. So I do not know what is going to happen. Lakini saai, it is like migu yote ya former VP ni kama iko inje kabisa. Kiangalia, hii court niliona wakisema like the churches ambao wanaenda kusikiza hiyo kesi wengine wameanza ku withdraw hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba kuna mtu anataka ku associate na hii kesi ya yeah? na kuna wasee wakiamua wameshaamua sasa wengine wana step down because hawataki mambo mingi sawa so, and um, wacha tuangalie rigichi mwenyewe as i say is a honest man wakati wa campaigns after the campaigns alikuwa analeta noma mbaya taliza time walinyanganya former president security right hadi uru mwenyewe alikuwa anasema yeye pia do not kill my children <laughs> after menyanganya security it's like it's a norm sawa it's a norm like ukiwa in power what you do to others na wewe pia unakuja unafanyiwa so it's like ni kawaida tu hiyo ndio vitu huwa zinafanyika 
the moment you natolewa kwa ile position unanyanga nyo security nini now you are vulnerable unaweza kuwa attack do you can be killed anywhere because ya ujui kunaendaje sawa adi alisema ili kiji mwenyewe alisema like uhuru anaweza tumia hata chief kama security now sasa kimemramba yeye mwenyewe pia atafuta hiyo chief OS ikuwe kama security because that's what he said aliambia uhuru hivyo so right away we do not know what is going to happen kama court inaweza overturn hiyo decision ya parliament na senate na which is impossible actually yeah but if court inaweza simama vizuri wasimame mbele ya haki waseme vile inafaa ikuwe ikichika ni remain in office but after that itakuwaaje watafanya kazi aje na the president sasa so, ndio that where now the big question is ya yeah, watafanya kazi aje tuseme amebaki watafanya kazi aje that's the big problem lakini whatever which is happening now to rigiti alikuwa anaongea sana alikuwa anaongea sana alikuwa anaongea sana hadi sasa saa hii vile kimemramba ndio unapata hata apate mtu wa kumsupport alikuwa anaongea vizirias eh anaongea mbaya sana and uh, ukiangalia vile kunaenda it's like the president wants him out atoke kabisa na aende his wife is crying watoto nini so guys ukiangalia ile security alikuwa anasema uhuru apewe achukue hata G4S saa hii analia yeye sasa analia for his life He's crying for his life okay na wacha tuangalie hii clip hapa no one is left out even uh, the president himself wakati wali pitana na president ambaye ni uhuru kenyata yeye pia alisema bora wasiue watoto wangu mr president yeah so ile kitu naweza sema ni hii mambo ya kunyang'anywa security na hii mambo ya threats like watoto familia inaweza uliwa si zimeanza na rigichi kumekuanga na hizo story tu hata president mwenyewe current president wakati wa uhuru alisema mr president maze fanya chochote lakini hiyo achane na familia yangu tafadhali so that's the trend hata hata uhuru mwenyewe pia yeye pia alikuja na hiyo statement ya minyang'anywa security yeye pia analia msiniulie watoto so let us watch this clip whereby Ruto alikuwa anasema msiniulie watoto kuwa na shukurani sisi ndio tulikusaidia waja kujifanya sasa hizi eti sijui unajifanya nini please amani aje my friend sasa eti wewe sasa unaanza kunifreaten mimi ati utanifanya nini bora usiue watoto wangu lakini mimi na wewe tafadhali tuheshimiane because they should tell me what they want with my children yeah do they want they have removed their security now i hear they want to remove their their personal weapons so what are they wanting to do that because they are planning something and if they are planning something yeah my only plea don't plan against my mother don't plan against my children plan for me if it is me you want leave them alone what do they have to do with anything yeah how many people are licensed to hold weapons in this country yeah did they not follow the right procedure tell us tell the world if 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 if, if they have if it's a question of illegal weapons <laughs> then tell the world yeah these people have illegal weapons right but if they are licensed weapons how many people in kenya have uh, licensed weapons even foreigners eh. all right see they followed the procedure right see you withdrew their security so they're not supposed to defend themselves in the crib umesikia bia ruto amelia so it is a trend when you are in power you exercise your power yeah you you show sure that you are now in charge of everything ruto alilia yeye pia alisema zafadhali msiniulie watu hoi ingawa hakuna mtu ameshauawa we have not seen any vice president or retired president mtu yuko ameoliwa but it's like wanajua like wanaweza infringe some pain
new u feel like pia usikie uzito lakini hakuna kitu imea hapa yani kama hiyo so right now guys this is the obvious which is happening and as i continue with this i thank you so much for your continued support keep subscribing like share and comment your opinions are allowed and welcome thank you so much and i appreciate so much